Okay, so here it is, Cider 2, which is Cydia for the PC. Okay, so first you're going to want to open up your Explorer and Google Cider 2 Download. And then it should show up uh, cider from sizzlingbit.com. Click on it. That's a good link to it. Scroll down a little bit. Let's see a video. And then it'll say Cyberlink Download. And you're going to want to click on one of these links, either or. So I'll go to, uh, let's say, Mega Upload. So you wait the 40 seconds. I'll wait it out. Have your device plugged in. So that uh, when you open up Cider, it'll uh, read your iPod or iPhone or iDevice for that matter. Alright, so. regular download it'll bring you a pop-up and then down here well this is uh, Internet Explorer it'll ask you if you want to save it and then you just click on save and then it should be downloading Cider. Now I've already got it so it downloaded right away. Um, but there it is. And uh, it is a pretty quick, it's very small and fast. So that's how you get it. Now once you get it, it comes rare. So you want to use WinRare or just double click on it if you have it already installed. And, or any zip program, anything that unzips uh, PC stuff so any unzip program so I double click on it cider 2 you want to extract to C program files and then you just click OK and then it will extract that folder to your program files which is here yeah, start menu my computer Go to your C, go down to Program Files, and then it should be in there, Cider 2. And if you're on Windows 7, I suggest uh, right-clicking. I don't think you have to do this, but I do it anyhow with these programs. Properties, Compatibility, this will be uncheckmarked. You want to check mark it and make sure it's on Windows XP Service Pack 3. Click Apply, then click OK. Then after you do that, you can open the program by double clicking on it. And uh, here we go, we'll go into it. Uh, I've got a shortcut here uh, for Cider, there we go. And uh, I'll be right back because it takes a while to load in my database. Okay, so once you open it for the first time, you're actually going to see nothing here. Um, you're going to want to have your device plugged in. It'll tell you if it's found it or not. iPod found. Okay, I plugged in my iPod, iPhone, whatever device you have, as long as it finds it. Um, so then when you have it all in there, uh, you put Get Sources from Cydia. It will take all the sources that you have from your iDevice and it will take them and put them right on here and then what that'll take a few minutes to load in it could take some uh, up to five minutes so, uh, mine took up to about ten minutes because I have a lot of repos um, so a lot of sources um, so once you do that then you can click on packages and you can set the select the certain source that you want to get from or whatever one you like 
um, or whatever section um, you guys can figure all that out um, and then what you have to do is go down pick one uh, let's just go with uh, uh, I want a small one something small with some kind of theme here or Mustang theme, uh, it's a full theme. Here, a text slider for Winterboard, okay? So I'm going to just download this now to show you how to do it. So you right click on it and put download uh, package with dependencies. So that with dependencies means that um, other stuff that this package might require to run. Or you can just download the package only. Um, but I usually do it with the dependencies. So I'm going to download with dependencies and then you have to go up to your downloads and actually the ones that are already in are on here. Uh, installed will show the box like this and then not installed or downloaded will show like this. So there's uh, Winterboard which is needed. So I got the Winterboard. Um, if you already have it installed don't worry about doing that. That's just the dependent. It depends on uh, Winterboard to run. Um, so you just go to the text slider, right click, download selected, and at the bottom there, oh, it came in really fast. I'll show you here with Winterboard. I'll just download Winterboard. Um, at the bottom right, you'll see it uh, load in. You can download, you can select a lot, like after you download a lot, you can select them all and do this. So download selected. There it goes downloading Winterboard and bang, done. Now all mine are done. So now all those uh, empty boxes are filled in. Now when you're done that, then you go over to File Manager. Now when you're in File Manager, it'll be uh, set on Cydia Catch. You want to click over to uh, Cydia, Auto, uh, Cydia Auto Install. And then whatever package you want, I have Winterboard here, uh, the, the one I just got, uh, SB settings, so whatever one you want, you can highlight a couple if you want, okay, and take them, and then you drag them over into this section, into the auto install, let go, and it will say copy selected packages to Cydia auto install. Now you're going to click yes, I'm going to click no, because I don't want those, I've already got uh, all my all that stuff. So what you want to do from here <coughs> uh, is after you do that is just once it loads in it'll say complete or whatever and then you just want to close it once it's finished you want to do that it'll save your database everything that you've just done it will save so all that will be there all your packages will be all saved to your PC and uh, that's it for that then when you're done that you're going to want to uh, reboot your device twice. Now the first time you reboot it, complete reboot, not respring, reboot. When you do reboot it, it will uh, install on the first reboot and then if it does require a reboot for the install then you will have to uh, turn it off and on again. So it does normally require two re full reboots. And uh, that is uh, Cider 2, uh, which is Cydia uh, for the PC. And it's great. And you can download, you can go crazy and get all your favorite uh, packages and uh, have them all downloaded and saved on your PC and uh, install, auto install them at any time. Do that full process at any time with any of the packages and you're good to go. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it was helpful. Um, this has helped me out in a few things. Um, just to mention one, um, I had a problem with my SB settings, so I deleted it and I had all my stuff hidden, uh, all my fo uh, apps hidden and stuff put in the docs within my SB settings. Um, so I couldn't even get to my settings or Cydia or anything. So luckily I had this program to reinstall SB settings with, with the PC Cydia and I got my SB settings back and then I was able to access all of my old stuff again. So uh, this saved me uh, in that situation and a couple of others. Um, so I hope this helps you uh, for all your uh, City of PC needs.